Irina. Come on. My darling. So many years, so many centuries. So We've been missing on Channel D, but finally we found our way again and the wind brought us to a beautiful, beautiful place on the shore of Arabian Sea. That's it. The beach is the beach. I mean, the shiny sun at its scorching best and everything blissful and everything serene. This is Varkala, guys. Varkala! If Kochi is called, if Kochi is called the queen of Arabian Sea, Varkala is like... Gem of Arabian Sea. You said it right. And you know what? Our first destination is uh, Kapil Beach. Kapil Beach. Yeah, so we'll go there. It's like really hot, but I think all the view and all the beauty out there, so it's worth it. No it's worth problem. A bit. I have a hat. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let's go. Yay! Let's go tripping. Hey, Varkala. Yes. Hey, Varkala. Hey, Varkala. Hey, Varkala. Hey, Kapil Beach. On the left is the Arabian Sea and on the right is the river. How do you call this point where they This merge? is an estuary. Estuary. Yeah, I believe it's an estuary. Like, we have to go to the Arabian Sea and we have to go to the lake. So this is like a beautiful confluence point. Yes. It's really sunny. I don't want to go to the top of the hill. My hat. Yeah. He's, he's jealous. I'm really jealous. <laughs> but I won't wear that hat anyway. <laughs> it's, it's nice! It's a madama it's really hat, nice. okay? Yeah. <laughs> but the water is so clear, it's so like a turquoise color. It's, I don't know, like you would see in the Pirates of Caribbean movies, right? Very clear, very calm, the sea is calm today. And this place is also very isolated, you don't get too many tourists like at Barcala Beach. Let alone tourists, let's see if there are any pirate boats. <laughs> I think there is a black flag with <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> അഭിമാനിക്കാൻ വേറെ എന്താണ് നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടത് നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി കൊട പിടിച്ചു തരുന്നു നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിൽ വന്ന് ആകെ ഫ്ലാറ്റ് ആയി നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി കൊട പിടിക്കാൻ പറഞ്ഞു കൊട പെൻ്റെ തന്നെ എത്തി സ്കോച്ചിങ് സൺസ് ലൈക് ബേണിംഗ് ഡൗൺ ഓൺ മൈ സ്കിൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ലൈക് റിയലി ഹോട്ട് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് അമേസിംഗ് And you're born here. You should be used to that. I need your hat. <laughs> My hat. You're pulling the wrong direction. Right? How it fits. Oh, nice. Good. So, New fashion. Kapil Garnu. Ini oru vaadu salangal undu vada Varkalayil kaanan and we are like running out of time so we should head towards the next destination. Yes, there are plenty of things to see. We are just starting. So, let's see. Let's go tripping. You know what is the most about most beautiful thing that I like here? What? Like the lake here it's like green in color and this is like blue. But I think it depends on the reflection of the light because oh. see the lake is surrounded by the trees so that's why it reflects the green and also I think the composition of the water. Well this just reflects the sky. Oh my god. I'm I'm really taken by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> that I got this information. Uh, you know what another quote I I read just recently? Yeah. It's for the lonely people or heartbroken people that we should not think something is wrong with us if we are lonely or heartbroken because the way each wave of the ocean at some point it breaks and it's normal and then it comes back to the ocean. Yeah, and each wave is like a flow of energy. It's like the wind blowing 
and the wind is like carrying the waves forward and every time a wave the wave is like laughing so at some the point we will like be change. alone at some point we, we will, will merge be alone. at some point again we will crash and then we return to the origin and that is dr irene <laughs> melkovich for doctor you doctor philosophy <laughs> doctor philosophy yes Basking under the hot sun in Kapil Beach right now, we are here for kayaking. Oh wow! Some adventure. Yes. The PFD is on. The life jacket is on. So are you ready to go? Now we are going to receive serious instructions. Some serious and instructions and what? And I think she is going to row, and I'll be sitting there chilling out. I think he is getting it all opposite, but okay, fine. We'll Let's go and see. Let's go and see. So when I ha- when I hold this stick, you know what I'm reminded of, like a rhyme from my childhood days. Yeah. Like, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is like a dream. It'll be only a dream if we don't get some proper instructions from our uh, from our main guy. Yes. What is it? Upper end, carrying all the gear to till then. Then get any carry in there now. പാഡിൽ ഈ ഡയറക്ഷനിൽ തന്നെ പിടിച്ചിട്ട് ഇത് ഫ്രണ്ടിലോട്ടാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ പ്രോപ്പറായിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ പോകണം അതല്ല എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഓരോ സൈഡിലോട്ട് നമ്മൾ ടേണി ഇപ്പോൾ ലെഫ്റ്റിലോട്ടാണ് ടേണി എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ റൈറ്റിലോട്ട് ഇത് വെച്ച് ആ സപ്പോർട്ടിൽ വേണം നമ്മൾ തിരിക്കാൻ അങ്ങനെ ഒരുപാട് ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻസ് ഇപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് തന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞ് മൂപ്പര് പക്ഷെ ദിസ് ഇസ് മൈ ഫേസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഐ ഡോ നോ ഹൗ വെൽ ഐം ഐ ഗോൺ എക്സിക്യൂട്ടഡ് ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ ഡു നോ സ്വിമിൻ ഐ ഹാവ് എ ലൈഫ് ജാക്കറ്റ് ഓൺ നെവർ റിലൈ ഓൺ എനി സിങ് എൻ്റെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ആണ് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് ഇടത്തോട്ട് തിരിഞ്ഞാൽ വലത്തോട്ട് പോകും പക്ഷെ വലത്തോട്ട് വലത്തോട്ട് തിരിഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇടത്തോട്ടും പോകും പക്ഷെ ആ പറയുന്ന അത്ര ഈസി അല്ല ഐ മീൻ ദ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ദ കറണ്ട് ഇറ്റ്സ് ലൈക്ക് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ഐ തിങ്ക് ആൻഡ് നോ ഐ റിയലൈസ് യു നീഡ് എ ലോഡ് ഓഫ് സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ടു ഡു ദിസ് ലോഡ് ഓഫ് സ്ട്രെങ് ഐ റൺ ക്വിറ്റ് മെഡിറ്റേറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടെൽ സംതിങ് യെസ് മൈ സോങ് it was a brilliant experience i thought it'd be easy but i figured easy. it's not easy at all with you, with you sitting easy. idle there in front of it like <laughs> yeah because I, it's my third time i tried this this is your third time yeah so and before my other rowing partners were much more productive <laughs> because i remember then i think i should give credit to myself for being such an expert at rowing and uh, heading you back home safely I think he just wanted to chill there in the water but actually yeah, the scenery and everything you just don't want even to work you just want to lie down and look around This is this uh, this is the most important thing about this place you know there are like plenty of You options. don't want to do anything You don't want to do anything there you even if you want to do something like there are plenty of good options
you've been roaming here since a long time. You know that all hippies used to come here in the 70s and I think all hippie souls continue to be drawn here. You're a hippie but you're a sober hippie. I'm a very sober hippie. You're a sober hippie but I don't think you need anything to go high. You're already high all the time. So I don't know. This is the monument dedicated for Mahagavi Kumara Nashan. This is the great poet of Kerala. Yeah, one of the great poets who shaped the entire architecture into something which is uh, linked to equality and justice. One of the greatest poets ever. Mahagavi Kumara Nashan. Mahagavi Kumara Nashan is Maharagatini Mumbilana Namalulada. We are going to go in and do a I mean so understand a lot of things. So let's pay respect, let's pay a tribute. Swadandriam Tanne Amrudam, Swadandriam Tanne Jeevidam, Paradandriam Manigalk, Mrdiye Kal Bayanagam. Idu Paranya, Prashista Kavi Kumar Nasha and this Maharagat in Erdana Namakana. So Aaron, we are standing in front of the great monument of uh, the great poet, Kumar Nasha. He revolutionized, revolutionized this whole field. This was his birthplace. This is also his birth, birth, birthplace. And I guess this nature and you know this kind of emergence of sea into the river, it inspired his poetic vision. Yeah, he had a lot of visions and uh, just like Sri Narayana Guru, he really made a lot of changes to this. Apart from being a poet, a great renowned poet, he was also a social activist and a spiritual seeker. He was a disciple of Sri Narayana Guru, whose ashram we will pass in Varkala also. You know what, in school days we had this term, Ashan, Ullur, Balato. These are the three names that we throw, okay? So these are the three names. So these are the three names who changed the entire landscape of the ah, literature. literature in Malayalam. So right now the Malayalam poems, if they are standing somewhere, it's all because of them. In the Malayalam Sahityo, uh, Malayala Kavitagalam, Inni Nelay Leti Tundanangi, it's all because of them. And moreover, he's a genius. He just, he was like 51 years old when he died. Yeah, it was some boat crash near Alapi. It was an unfortunate accident that took away the life of such a great personality. Yeah, so we have to pay tribute to this yeah. legend. <laughs> Chinda Vishte Sita, Chandala Bukshuvi, Duravasta, I mean, there are plenty of names that, if you try to recollect, there are plenty of names that this man has written. Yeah, there are plenty of poems, like they are all so historic and so important for our culture that you cannot wipe out this name from the history of Kerala at any time. Chandala Bhikshugi, that is a line from his poem Chandala Bhikshugi. That means uh, a woman from a lower caste, she didn't eat, she didn't sleep that day. So you heard something like he revolutionized this whole field, right? So, and also he was, uh, I mean, a devotee of uh, Sri Narayana Guru. That means they all fought, fought for the lowest caste here, equality here. Uru Jadi, Uru Madam, Uru Deva, Mennavarna, Sri Narayana Guru. Mupare devotee, Kumar Nashan. And that is what all these poems depict. Even Sri Narayana Guru himself was writing poetry. Yeah, he himself yes. was a genius. He was also and he got inspired from him. Relief sculpture, there is a small story associated with it. Adayad, Rabindranath Tagore, when he came to meet Sri Narayana Guru, Kumar Nashan 
was a translator for her. That's what this uh, carving did. So, we are now in the middle of the world. So, this place uh, this is again a confluence point of a sea and a lake and a kayak. So, this is again a beautiful place. If you are if coming this way, this is like some 10 kilometers from the town. This is Varkala town and almost 10 kilometers from here. So, we are going to go to the village and chill out and some sari and chumma. They just want to keep their thoughts shut. They don't want to, they want to shut their shut down their thoughts and be peaceful and chill out. And this is the best point for it. It's full of fishermen's villages and small boats are running here and there. And, and yeah, the eagles. Eagles. Plenty of eagles. That is one important thing about Varkala. Yes. It's a homeland of eagles. It's a homeland of eagles, the spiritual, spiritual. bird. Finally, we are at the Varkala cliff. Varkala's famous cliff. The most famous cliff and this place is so serene and so tranquil that... No wonder all those gurus... Yeah, all points, those gurus, they, all, they, all, they all try to settle here. Like, Sri Narayana Guru is to come, then Bakil uh, Uribad is coming, we are not the to come. They all chilled out here for a reason. This place is amazing. You come here, look at the horizon and then you're speechless. Your thoughts go empty. And that is one thing that you should do at least once in your life. Like shut down everything, shut down your system and be at peace. Just and be. be at peace. Just be present. Just be present. That's all. That is one thing that this place teaches you. And actually, um, it's very interesting that this place is a, also a spiritual gathering. There is yeah. this temple, what is the name of the temple? Uh, Patmanava Swami Temple. Patmanava Swami Temple, yes. yes. And they believe that the God himself stepped there. And if you take a bath in the Arabian Sea here on this beach, it's believed that your sins will get washed away. And there is one more story associated with okay. it. It's like uh, Pandya, King Pandya, yeah. he's, a, he's a very important ruler in the Tamil dynasty. So Lord Brahma gave a piece of land to him, saying that, okay, fine, come on boy, you go and meditate. Mm. So this is a place where people come here for spiritual purposes, they meditate, they do a lot of things, a lot of different genres. And there is one more story like Narada, you told me this. Yeah, something he dropped his clothes. Yeah, his loin cloth and uh, using his loin cloth he gave it to the pilgrims yeah. so that he threw the loin cloth and this piece of land came to life. That's how it is. Now it's a favorite touristic destination. There are so many resorts, Ayurvedic clinics and people come from all over the world. Before it was just a small village, small village which once was noticed by hippies who basically... Hippies understand a <laughs> lot of things that normal things, people don't. Yeah. Well, yeah. now it's like very, very popular resort in Kerala. I think one of the most popular, right? One of the after, most popular resorts. After Kovalam Beach. Yes. And moreover, if you look at all these places, like this is a combination of ruby red cliff and deep blue sea. Deep blue sea. Okay, so here it's and like crimson some... crimson sunset. Yeah, this is like some 50, uh, some 50 meters tall and this stretches to around 15 kilometers, I guess. And if you take a walk here, you'll understand one thing. It's time 
you stop doing all those uh, hectic things and just, just calm, be. relax, just be. ഈ സ്ഥലത്തിന് ഇവിടെ താഴെ വന്നിരുന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഒരു പ്രത്യേകത ഉണ്ട് വളരെ ശാന്തമാണ് അത് ഓൾറെഡി ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞു എൻ്റെ ശബ്ദം കൂടിയും പൊന്നുന്നില്ല പിന്നെ ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ തിങ് അബൌട്ട് ദിസ് പ്ലേസസ് ദർ ആർ സോ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ ഹിയർ ഫ്രം ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് കൺട്രീസ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ദ കം ക്രോസ് ബോർഡേഴ്സ് ടു റീച്ച് ദിസ് പ്ലേസ് ബട്ട് ദി നെവർ ഡിസ്റ്റേബ് എനി വൺ ദേർ ഓൺ ദർ ഓൺ ലൈക്ക് ദ വിൽ കം ഹിയർ ഡു ദർ ഓൺ സ്റ്റർഫ് എൻജോയ് ചെൽ റിലാക്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ വിൽ ലീവ് പക്ഷേ ഒരാളും അങ്ങോട്ടും ഇങ്ങോട്ട് ഡിസ്റ്റർബ് ചെയ്യില്ല പ്രൈവസി ഈസ് മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ അറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ബെസ്റ്റ് and that is one important thing about barkala and look at this girl she's on her own trip om after all the kayaking and all the adventure rides and doing all those crazy things we are like really tired but you know one thing about varkala korsu munbu parna pole ratri lane lode nadannilla nundenge varkala there is something seriously missing in your trip so we have like found the rest of the energy from inside and we are going to take a walk and explore all these exuberant and exotic designs and shops so i run let's go let's go follow us You know this is a actually this is a Russian doll. But now they made like I don't know some kind of Indian designs like Ganesha but this doll is called Matryoshka. So okay. inside one so there is another one smaller and then they become smaller 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 smaller. So it's a Russian type of doll but now it's like a generic basically product for anything. There are all kinds of things here. Yeah, you can find anything but I like this bag. I think it's from Chillums <laughs> to Russian designs. in indian style rajasthani kind of hemant can i try i want to see itana sai kya ishta padho samadhan balare sundaran samadhanam ayo So usually when you go outside you don't get to see people smiling at you so frequently in Kerala I should say because I have Not my own experience Not true in Kerala everyone is smiling to you No 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 they everyone. have this No I don't think so but Don't listen to him he lives in Bangalore he already <laughs> no, forgot what is his Kerala Like people they don't smile at you I want to tell you here. Kerala is the most smiling state in India and the most smiling place in the world I've never seen such sunny radiant people no. like here
And one... Uh, do you have mango juice? Because of the season, no me. No problem. Papaya juice? Papaya juice with lime. Papaya dream. Papaya dream, okay. Without sugar. <laughs> sure. Food? It's very nice. You know, I love naan. Naan is my favorite food. And this one is cheese garlic naan. It's almost like pizza, but not quite. And paneer is always paneer. It's like you know, for vegetarians, I think it's like, I don't know what how to compare. With what can you compare paneer for vegetarians? Paneer for vegetarians is like dry beef. <laughs> Maybe for non vegetarians. <laughs> but anyway, like we waited for around 45 minutes. Yeah, because they have lots of guests. Lots of guests and moreover they prepare it fresh. So patience is the key. And finally you get like delicious food. So that's it guys. Like you can see a lot of people like merely going around, enjoying, singing, doing a lot of things. So that's it. And I think you don't actually need to have any kind of activities here. You can just lazily walk down the beach. Eat paneer tikka in the evening, meditate in the morning and do yoga near the seashore. And days will pass one after another and this is, I think, really the pleasure of living. Find beauty in simplicity. You don't beauty in simplicity, that's what you see around. You don't see everything in all the time. You don't see everything in the same 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 time. So, nothing else. And that's the speciality of Wood Vokala. So that's it. So that is Irene Mihalkovic. No, Heman Shri Kumar. Heman Shri Kumar closing the Vokala episode. So see you again on our next episode. Till the next bye.